Hello and welcome to the Daily Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary are racing from the tomb. What they have just encountered has shaken them to their core. As they run, they are driven by fear and joy. The angel's words tumble through their thoughts. Do not be afraid. They wonder, even with such joyous news, how can they not feel fearful? Suddenly, they encounter Jesus himself. They fall to his feet breathless, elated and shocked. These two women, the first evangelizers of our resurrected Jesus, have just had a transformative encounter with him and they are forever changed. Their fear has vanished. This year, Easter and the days which follow will be different throughout the Christian world. It will be different because the world is different. We are forever changed. After a year of tremendous suffering, loss, fear and sorrow due to the pandemic, Jesus invites us to receive the gifts of his resurrection in a new way. We are invited to take slow, courageous steps to emerge from our suffering and walk towards the light. Easter, the celebration of the resurrection, extends comfort, solace and peace to us in a new way. Although some of us are not yet attending Mass in churches, Easter invites all of us to allow the light, candles, flowers, alleluias, joyful music and the exhilaration of the resurrection into our hearts in a more pure and concentrated fashion than in the past because like the two women we are changed we notice things now that we may not have noticed before we appreciate aspects of our lives we may have not appreciated before we carry deep sorrows for lives lost and hardships endured because we have suffered ourselves and or looked into the eyes of others who suffer. Their pain has become our pain and our pain theirs. Easter and our slow emergence from the pandemic invite us to push away the stone that has blocked us in the past from fully hearing and embracing the Easter message of for fully living our lives. Jesus offers to help us roll away the stones in our hearts, stones that have stopped us from extending forgiveness, mercy, compassion and love. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary raced from the tomb where the angel had rolled away the stone. Both the angel and Jesus told them not to be afraid. And we push away the stones in our lives. May this message of Easter fill us with joy as we go forward without fear and become forever changed. Let us pray. God our Father, Give us your grace that we may be open to your word. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to do the Father's will just as you did. Holy Spirit, be our comforter and counselor and lead us on our way. Amen. Thank you for joining us on The Daily Word. Until next time, be cheerful, be holy.